10 Steps to Overcome Loneliness Do you often feel alone? Do you feel like you have nobody who cares about you? Are you struggling to open up to people around you? These questions are common and countless people experience these feelings constantly. If you want to figure out how to overcome loneliness then you have come to the right place. Loneliness is an often felt emotion, we all have been through at some point in our life. It is a mental state, not just a physical one. A lonely person might crave social contact but at the same time, his state of mind prevents him from doing so. He feels unsettling emotions like isolation, emptiness, and estrangement. These feelings strike when you are at your lowest and leave you heartbroken and vulnerable. However, I have figured out some ways to overcome these feelings, which I will explain to you all today. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Here we try to figure out life and make it a bit easier for you. Today I'll be revealing some of my tried and tested steps that helped me feel overcome feelings of loneliness. So, let's get straight into the video. Number 10. Share to cope up with loneliness. Sharing was different before the age of the internet. People used to gather and share poetry, life stories, gossip, and anecdotes from their life. However, after the popularity of the internet, the aspect of sharing has lost its personal touch. It is often hard to go out in public spaces and make a friend out of the blue. These random occurrences are non-existent now. However, this does mean that a person should hide themselves away in the vicinity of their room, and never try to go out and engage. Instead, you should experiment with different places, opportunities, and try to make as many acquaintances as possible. The root cause of loneliness is the imaginary distance you have created between yourself and others. When you share aspects of yourself, you let people into your personal space. Number 9. Adopt a pet. Another effective way to decrease loneliness is to get a pet. Pets shower love and affection on their owner, which helps in dissipating negative emotions. You are the entire universe for your pet, and their excitement at seeing you makes you forget your loneliness. Their enthusiastic welcoming, the tails wagging, cuddles, tweaks, and meows, melts your heart and awards you a companion. They can detect your mood, and try to uplift you in tough times. Pets help you with distressing and decreasing anxiety. Furthermore, pets make a great conversation starter with other people, especially when you take them out in parks and public places. It is highly possible that you might gain a new friendship because of your adorable pet. Pets are very important for our overall well-being and they can change our lives for the better. Number 8. Cultivate a close circle of friends. Some people might have huge social circles, but despite that, they are alone and lonely. This existential loneliness arises due to many reasons. It might be due to arrogance and vanity but it might also be due to lower self-esteem. It might be because you are an introvert and can't seem to create a conversation amongst your peers. The reasons for loneliness are endless. However, the motive isn't to build a huge group of friends, instead, it's best to keep a small but close circle of friends who genuinely love you. Keep a close circle of friends who have been with you through the ups and downs of your life. Friends who are aware of your nature and your struggles and can put you at ease. Keep your loved ones closer to distance yourself from constant loneliness. If this thought resonates with you then make sure to like, comment down your thoughts and subscribe to this channel. Number 7. Help and empathize. You might know someone who is in your shoes, going through a similar crisis in life. This person will understand your demons more than anyone else, so when you are going down the dark alley of loneliness, try to uplift yourself by helping someone who is going through the same. Try to reach out and call them up for a cup of coffee. This might help you redirect your pent-up negativity and give you a new alone partner. This sort of relationship will make you feel less alone and that these feelings are not only in your head. You will realize that there are others like you who need the same help as you. Number 6. Take things on a lighter note. You may be able to overcome your loneliness if you stop overthinking about negative possibilities in life. If a person is trying to strike a conversation with you, convince your brain that they do not have any ill intention towards you. If someone praises you, don't think they mean it as sarcasm since you find yourself unworthy of praise. If someone asks your opinion on something, do not hesitate to give it. The constant insecurity makes a person even lonelier than they are, it draws curtains around one's positivity. A loner might resort for negative innuendos even in most positive situations. So taking things at face value can help open up these curtains and let in the light of positivity. Number 5. Pursue a hobby. Having a hobby can be a useful way of preventing loneliness. 
You can start with an individual hobby, like reading books, writing a journal, painting, stitching, embroidery, arts, and craft, or any other project. After you are comfortable doing these things alone, you can start something else that requires you to go and be amongst other people. It doesn't have to be an interactive hobby, instead, you can go cycling, to the movies, to the gym, or even to a dance class. After mastering a non-interactive social hobby, you can choose to adopt a hobby that requires some social interaction. For example, being in a sports team, being a part of a volunteer group, or becoming a tour guide. Number 4. Meditation is the key. Meditation is the key to understanding your feelings. You can sit in your favorite spot, turn calm music on and get into a comfortable position. You can lean back against support, legs crossed, and close your eyes. Let the loneliness you feel wash over you. Feel it within every inch of your body. Once you have accepted this feeling, the next step is overcoming it. But how? Think of a person who is or has been close to you, and imagine them being with you. Feel yourself being embraced and loved by them, imagine having a conversation with them. Now start adding as many people as you want and imagine having a happy and fulfilling time with them. After this exercise, you will feel lighter and merrier. Meditation is a vital way of coping up with loneliness. Number 3. Turn your negative emotions into positive outcomes. Loneliness incites many negative sentiments in a person's mind. It creates feelings of hatred, towards others for multiple reasons, such as abandonment or lack of understanding. It can create feelings of resentment and distrust. It can cause you to dwell in the misfortunes of your life and make you depressed and suicidal. So, the pressing question is, what exactly is the cure for loneliness? Well, one way to beat loneliness is by channeling the negative emotions into something beneficial and positive. Every time you feel loneliness is taking over you, you can try to divert the mind by coming up with a positive thought. This is one of the most critical steps to cope up with loneliness. Number 2. Accept loneliness as a part of your life. Loneliness is not necessarily a bad thing. In fact, it can be considered as, me time, where you can take some time off for yourself. Amy Roach, a clinical psychologist, mentions how the adverse effects of loneliness can be converted into a positive attitude. According to her, you need to accept, reflect and embrace loneliness. It is a way to make it into a welcome guest. Hence, loneliness is converted into solitude, which can be considered as welcomed loneliness. When you stop denying loneliness, you realize it is not as bad as you made it out to be. You can see the good in it. It empowers you to know yourself better, and understand your needs, fears, and wishes. Hence it becomes a friend instead of a foe. Number 1. Diagnose and realize the loneliness. When a doctor has to treat a patient, the first step is to make a list of all the symptoms. The symptoms then lead to a diagnosis, after which the treatment can be started. Similarly, for loneliness, the first step is you recognize that you are lonely. Do you feel often that people exist around you but they don't understand you? Do you feel a lack of companionship and that nobody really knows you? Do you feel left out, shy and isolated around people? If you get these feelings persistently, then you most probably are suffering from loneliness. Make a checklist of all your negative emotions and sentiments, then assess your situation and draw parallels with the symptoms. Diagnose yourself and then understand how to cope up with this feeling of loneliness. To sum it all up, loneliness might be the biggest hurdle in your life, but if you cope up with loneliness, it can become your best friend. It can deteriorate your health and make you depressed, but it's up to you to make a comeback to life. In the end, you have to make your own decisions, write your own chapter. It's only you who can take control and get out of this toxic emotion and come out a winner. Try these 10 effective strategies to overcome your loneliness. Which tip did you guys like the best? Let me know in the comments below. With that, it's a wrap. Don't worry, I'll be back with another video soon to share more secrets to life, relationships, growth etc. Till then take good care of yourself and your loved ones. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share our content with your loved ones. Lastly, don't forget to press the bell icon. Bye bye and thanks for watching.